Hello there, this is Space Runner 5, and welcome to a new Let's Play series. We're playing as Gotland in the Lion of the North uh, expansion DLC release um, date, which was technically yesterday, but I recorded it the day it released. Um, but we're going to be playing as Gotland. We're going to go through the entire mission tree, at least attempt to go through the entire mission tree for this series. There's no achievement to go for uh, as Gotland, which is a little unfortunate since that's kind of our bread and butter is going after all the achievements. But hey, we'll stop it and play as Gotland since you guys specifically requested it. Which is also something, if you guys comment down below, whichever for which country you want to see me play in the future or next in the next uh, play playthrough, um, whichever you know country has the highest likes comments uh, for, I'll go ahead and play it as the next uh, run because uh, there's achievements associated with pretty much everyone in this region for this DLC: Riga, the Teutons, Livonian Order, Sweden, Norway, Denmark. They all have achievements associated for it. Uh, so I'd be down for that in next next kind of run through because we can also play as like Finland too as a release off of Sweden as just another example for all the different uh, achievements that we can have for that. Um, but today we're going to play as a Pirate Republic. This will be the first time that I actually play as a Pirate Republic in this game. I have over 2,500 hours in the game and I have not done that yet, which is insane to me. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do that today. So I'm going to be learning a little bit about Pirate Republics and then also about all the new features in 1.34. And then, obviously, learning about Gotland itself, since normally we're we're not normally released. We're normally part of Denmark. Um, so right here, claims of Eric Griff. Griff? I'm going to say Griff. Let's say Griff. Um, I'm an American. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce things. Um, but, you know, it just is what it is. You'll have to bear with me. Uh, but we're basically a pretender that's on these islands for the crown of Denmark. Uh, we're going to say, screw the crown of Denmark. We don't want it. We'll conquer it later. Uh, we're going to go ahead and become a republic. Because... We're going for the pirate life. So we can do a normal republic where you can kind of go like a merchant republic. Um, or you go and become a pirate republic. And that sounds a little bit nicer to me. Uh, plus 20% sailors recovery, yearly republican tradition because the bureaucrats are in charge. Uh, oh, buccaneers, not bureaucrats. They're a little different. They're very different. <laughs> we'll go ahead and play uh, right now as the buccaneers, which I they're actually my favorite faction. Uh, followed by the smugglers, uh, since they go ahead and give me Republic Contrition so I can keep my leader around for longer periods of time without any issues uh, going on there. Smugglers are followed up by that because trade and global trade power are very nice. Those are great modifiers, especially if you're trying to build tall as a trade uh, trade power. Um, so we're going to be diving into trade quite a bit into this series because um, that is a large focus of what this uh, mission tree for Gotland is. Uh, let's go ahead and conquer all the Baltic Sea and all like islands, um, which is kind of cool uh, since we do get missions for every estuary or trade center inside of the Baltic area, which is very nice. And then captains for Royal Navies and land leader fire or naval leader fire. Uh, it's kind of OK. Um, you really never want this when you're going ahead at war. Otherwise, it's I find it almost useless, so I don't know if we'll actually use it. But we can go ahead and get our Navy together. Um, let's see, what do you got? Uh, you're, so, as a Pirate Republic, our leader will go ahead and become an Admiral automatically, so we don't have to assign him. Uh, you can do this cute little bug thing here, where you go ahead and assign him as a leader, go ahead and start drilling. Uh, and when the game does a monthly tick, he'll go ahead and become an Admiral. <laughs> Just weird things I noticed while I was getting ready to go ahead and record for today. Uh, we're gonna go and pay for advisors. We're gonna be, uh, flat broke for a while. Uh, national unrest. Now, give me the prestige. We don't really care about unrest. We're all Swedish. We're only a one province OPM. We are going to collect trade over here in Lubeck instead of Krakow, and we're going to collect trade in the Baltic Sea instead of Novgorod since we have absolutely zero trade power there. So I want to at least try and make try and make a fraction of a ducat. We can go up to speed three. Yep, there you go. See, leader's already gone, and now he's over here. All right, and you're just going to go ahead and raid, and we're just going to raid the coast of everybody who does not like Denmark. Denmark, uh, Novgorod, England, and Burgundy. Let's go ahead and try and uh, improve relations with England. Maybe we'll get an alliance. I'm very doubtful of it. But hey, you live and you learn. Maybe we'll get lucky and England will ally us. Uh, since Denmark is going to be a, kind of our, our first country that we try and take over here in the beginning. And we should also probably go ahead and build up some new boats. I need some more galleys. Because our first mission... Uh, give me three of those and then a bark as well. First mission we're going to go for, we're going to go through this mission tree a little bit more, uh, is just get under private private fleet. We just need uh, 25 boats, or 20 boats, 6 light ships, which will take us up to 100% force limit. And then we just get claims on, on the entirety of Denmark, which is very nice. But right now, let's just go ahead and do our things, because we're going to have plenty of time to talk 
in between because uh, for at least for the first period of the game we are going to be chilling. Uh, apparently I've already rated everything there. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and that's just because it's going to be very slow. We're going to have to wait for Sweden to kind of do their things with Denmark. We can Denmark. Denmark needs to go to a bunch of wars. Have no allies. You know, all the normal stuff uh, before we can go ahead and conquer them. Because uh, they're gonna, our navy is going to be technically about the same size as them. So if they have any allies that are on the sea as well, like the Teutons or something, or uh, Walgast over here, uh, it's going to it's going to be an issue for us, or at least make it harder. So we're just going to go ahead and raid here. We can't raid over here because it's more than uh, two sea towels away. So you guys go ahead and stop patrolling now. You can go ahead and privateer over in the Lubeck trade note. Try and give us a, just a little bit of cash out of here. Uh, collecting here doesn't really make that big of a difference. Um, since our overall economy, we get 0.22 ducats right now from privateering here. It's not very much, but you know every little bit counts for something. All right, we are also going to go ahead and delete the fort here because we don't need a fort here. That's costing us a ducat a month that we can't afford. Uh, yeah, so all right, not too bad there. We could build up our force limit, except we can't drill anyway, so it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Uh, so I might as well save the cash, at least for now. We'll go ahead and build up later. Uh, we are going to be at our capacity for for manpower for a while, but that's not a, that's that's a non-issue. Um, Norway, I didn't technically raid you at all. What's your liberties are? Zero uh, percent. How about yours, Sweden? One hundred percent. Oh, good. So Sweden is not ha not help or not friendly to Denmark, which means they're going to try to throw their independence and the Swedish navy and army. We don't have to worry about. So maybe we attack Denmark during the uh, Swedish independence war. So we'll have to be watch that with like a hawk. So that's good news for us. How are things going out? Uh, oh, uh, England took the stab hit and gave up uh, Mainz to France. Very smart. Uh, that is far better for you, uh, unless you're the player. And then you can try and push a PU, but it's way too much AE uh, to actually take. Um, so Naples is free. Congratulations. Good to you, Naples. Uh, these boats are just going to see for a little bit. That's no worries. How old is our current leader? He is a 1-2-3. These stats are fixed to the 1-2-3, but the modifier that you have is random. So you can kind of re-roll for whatever you want. Uh, give me well, I wanted to actually take them... That was a misclick. I wanted to take the, the Monarch points. <laughs> oh, well. We have no estates uh, because we have the uh, the factions. Uh, I kind of wish we still had the estates. Uh, I find the factions to be a little underwhelming for what you can do with the estates. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't make those decisions. So. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead. We're actually going to dev in our capital a little bit. Uh, mostly uh, Diplo. Just so we can go ahead and boost our naval force limit to 20, since we need that for our first mission. Uh, let's go and throw some admin in there, because we don't really need that. Should take us up to 20, because for each development you get 0.1 naval naval force limit and also normal force limit. Uh, we're going to go for probably galley combat ability. Uh, sounds pretty good to, to me right now. Uh, Poland got their PU. Go after. You went after Poland as well. So Poland just had like a really good month right there. It's good for you guys. You guys go ahead and merge. Go ahead and privateer in Lubeck as well. Alrighty. So. We technically have our mission to go ahead and get clams on all of Denmark. That was a random bankruptcy there. No, we're not going bankrupt. We are running a deficit though. But those are two entirely different things. I mean, you're for... Oh, you, you, you have no allies. You're supporting the independence of Sweden. I approve. Um... Which I'm actually very fond of because you'll fight the Danish Navy and I won't have to. I give that, uh, I don't know, two thumbs up. I was trying to think of something witty for a pirate to stick up. Like two hooks up? Yeah, two hooks up. That works. <laughs> oh, that's so cringeworthy. All right, well, we can go ahead and dive in here a little bit more since we're, we're just going to let the game chill for a little bit. We're waiting for Sweden to go ahead and declare their independence uh, along with England. Oh, they have England, Poland, and Burgundy supporting their independence. You need to fire now. Uh, do you have a truce with Denmark? No. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Sweden is gone is the answer to that. All right. So, mission tree. Go ahead and dive, dive into here. Got claims on all of Denmark here. Uh, sink the Danes. Let's sink their navy. And what do we need here? Oh, have a fleet equal to or larger than Denmark. Okay. That seems pretty easy. Okay. Wait, Danish ship war losses in battle against Scotland are at least 20. Oh, that one's going to kind of suck. 
all the flying must be true. Hmm, that would be interesting. We're gonna recall there. Uh, I hope. Oh, lose three, gain three ducats for ten prestige. I will take the ten prestige. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, so we got that. Uh, let's see. Wait, do this. Uh, oh, that's a castle. I thought that said Castile, and I was like, eh. Uh, that's just base development. It seems okay. It's just in the former capital. Uh, yeah, I would definitely take two mercantilism there. It's phenomenal. Beyond the sound toll, four hundred. Oh, we get a colony on Bermuda. Okay, Gatlin gains a permanent claim to every center of trade in the estuary of Colonial Caribbean. Pretty nice. So that gets, lets us go into become the Pirates of Caribbean. Very nice. A place in the sun happens. I don't know what that event is, so that would be interesting. Until the end of the game, Royal of Armies and Navies plus 10%. Our projection from insults. Uh, no, we're not going to keep uh, Eric. Uh, he's he's kind of old. He's he's what? He's he's 66. I'd rather uh, let's go for admin. Admin for now. That did not update. Okay, there we go. What do you got? Fairly disbanded. Cool. Spy network construction. Well, unfortunately, I'm not doing that at all. I should probably do that in Denmark since we're waiting. How are you feeling over here, England? You want to be friends? No, no friends. Let's go improve relations with Sweden. Uh, they're going to be very upset with us for a while, though, because I keep raiding their coast. Uh, but we're just kind of... Uh, I guess Novgorod. Actually, I don't want an ally Novgorod. They're, <laughs> they're just going to get killed off repeatedly. <laughs> Alright, so that's the Pirates of the Caribbean. The worst pirate. Tortuga gets additional... Oh, it gets center of trade level 2. Okay, I mean, I'm good with that. Seems pretty, uh, pretty normal. Secure the North Sea. What do you got here? Permanent claims. Oh, this is for uh, the Dutch area. Okay, interesting. Great Boolean famine. Just double checking. Let's make sure they're not at war. Okay, loot the low countries. So this is again going ahead and looting. Okay. All right, loot London. Okay, well, I mean, we will eventually do that once we take out Denmark. So it looks like a lot of our mi missions are kind of locked be behind Denmark. Um, this is Gotland's privateering, at least 15% trade power. We're not there yet. Um, at least 20 provinces uh, have to be raided. We're at 45 because we did everything. Okay, so we just need more trade power. Does it say where? The North Baltic Sea. Okay. So maybe we go ahead and swap on over there. Because this gives us a bunch of claims. The flotilla. You go privateer in the North Baltic Sea. This is Baltic Sea. Why does it say North in here? Did it say North? Yeah, North Baltic Sea. Interesting. Uh, this is the Baltic Sea, not the North one. I mean, that is the North region as well, but yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, what is our total privateering efficiency? Uh, 7%, so we, we, do, we do need more boats. I see. Uh, I'll lose prestige, because I'd rather have my military points. And what got our first Republican uh, virtues? What do we want here? I think this is the nicest one, the, the privateer's way. Morale of navies, armies, increase, naval maintenance reduction, Republican tradition yearly is great, because we'll get two a year, so we can basically just keep the same guy forever until he dies. Privateer efficiency and captain influence is, I mean, the privateer efficiency is kind of nice, but I don't really care about having the captains in place. Um, trade power broad plus 30%, pretty okay. Uh, I definitely take that. National sailors, Republican tradition, also pretty nice, but I'd rather just have this guy as in general. So that's cool. Over the Baltics, so we'll get claims on all this. This is for conquering Danzig, which gives us nine mercantilism for all that. Wow. Uh, for having Riga, Danzig, and Lubeck. Very nice, which we will definitely want. Um, Beer Cat's currently in the power. Okay, so whoever's in power gets additional modifiers, uh, which we would... Pro National Arrest minus two is kind of mute. I'd rather have the privateering efficiency and the traders, so the smugglers, whenever we click this button, we want in power. Um, for additional privateering efficiency, trade efficiency, since that's where most of our money is going to come from. We're actually getting ready to take loans. Here, let's go ahead and just give her those. It's been nice having you guys, uh, but I can no longer afford you. You're still at peace. Pirate Federation, if you're allied to another uh, Pirate Republic, which we're looking at you, Rugen, over here to go ahead and do that. Uh, so eventually we'll conquer that and release them as a... I don't want to lose the mercantilism, but that's by far a, a great modifier for stacking. Um, so that was that. We already looked at reach the Mediterranean. 
Uh, so if we get 5% trade power in the Mediterranean, we get claims on all the islands in the Mediterranean, which is kind of one of our big focuses, the islands. Um, we'll still end up owning the coast of this region in the Baltic, but that's okay for now. We're basically going to compete with the Hanseatic League, Hanseatic League, and kind of go from there. Papal Coffers, Great High Secure Coffers, Game 30, Army Tradition, that's pretty, pretty huge. Um, Pirate versus Berber. Okay, so that's pretty much it, just... It's a lot of different little things here. We can form Scandinavia, technically. I'm not planning on doing that right now. Uh, we'll do that in kind of one of the other uh, Let's Play series. We can play Denmark, uh, Sweden, or Norway. Any of those will do. So Sweden ended up getting positive relations. I can't support their independence, but still hostile. Nice. Uh, let's go and improve relations with Poland. What the Teutons? Anyone that'll ally us? Uh, no. I don't think anyone will actually look at allying us. Let's see. Offer alliance. We can join a trade league. Lundberg is the only one. Uh, I can technically join Bluebeck, but I don't want to give them my trade power. Uh, I don't need their protection because I'm in the middle of the sea. No one can land on me uh, as long as my navy is stronger. So. One of the big things that they were supposed to do is rework uh, the frequency in which countries go ahead and declare their independence. So I'm interested to see when Sweden's going to go ahead and actually fire and ask for their independence. Uh, it remains to be seen at the moment. Let's go ahead and take military tech. I still, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and not do that anymore. Uh, we're going to dev more in our capital, but I'd rather save the money right now. We also should probably go ahead and increase stab at least once. Just wear plus one to go ahead and get uh, prosperity in our capital. Probably should have done that a little while ago, but hey, life goes on. We're capped here. Uh, I don't actually feel too bad uh, just paying for the additional two troops real quick. All right, so that seems a-okay. Uh, the Hiller Do I want to join the Emperor? Empire, probably. Uh, it would actually resolve quite a few issues. So let's go ahead and improve relations with the Emperor as well. I currently got plus 25. It's coming back from Poland. Um, just because joining the Empire is going to make life a little bit easier. I don't think I like this guy, though. Oh, actually, he's fine. Uh, yeah, we can keep him. New Cardinal for Rio, Portugal. Congratulations. What else do we got? We... Oh, apparently we're not ahead of time. So, yep, we have no innovativeness. Very nice. Fantastic. <laughs> It'll go up, though, when we go ahead and get all of our Republican tradition backups. It's going up to a year, uh, which is pretty nice. We can have a rival. Oh, my gosh. It's almost time for us to go raiding again. Well, I'm thinking about it. When is the date? Uh, 15... 1455. Okay. Go privateer back in the Baltic Sea. How much are we getting in Spoils of War? Was it better here or in the Lubeck? It looks like it's better here. Oh, Sweden. Sweden declared their independence war. We're going to let their navies clash for a little bit because it looks like their navy's getting wiped. Uh, let's go ahead and get our uh, current leader in charge. 421. Pretty good. I like the additional maneuver pip since... Oh, that's part of one of the big things for the rework for uh, this uh, this expansion or this, uh, this release. 1.34 is they rework combat and reinforcements. Uh, so maneuver is way more important. Uh, not so much for, I mean, Maneuver is still one of the most important pips for naval battles, just because it increases your naval engagement width by 10%. Um, so that's something uh, that we like. Where can I, I need my navy over here for a second. I, I just need to uh, do a little I spy for a second. Uh, Teutons are getting occupied by Poland. I like that. You guys are all here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can just declare war. Denmark. Declare war. Oh, look, none of your allies. Oh, I, I need to wait for my claims to come in. There we go. There's all of our claims. We got lots of stuff. We're going to go for this guy right here. I have no diplomats. Well, going back from Austria, we'll, we'll, we'll make peace with them in a minute. Uh, this is what we've been waiting for. Uh, yeah, give me the plus two in rest because that doesn't matter to me. Yo, hi there, Danish Navy. Uh, I just came to say hi real quick. All right, we're going to go ahead and land over here. I don't necessarily want to ferry my entire army there. Uh, you guys stop there. Because then I also want to go ahead and land over here as well. And as long as we are position our boats here, they can't come and get us. Uh, which I would greatly appreciate. You guys go land over there with 3k, and then we'll ferry these guys back over. Because uh, I don't believe that... Holstein, Norway, and Denmark. Yeah, I don't think there's too much. This gives us our war goal, and as long as we go ahead and occupy some of these islands... Uh, Denmark can't walk back across because we have our fleet. Oh, what is hitting us? 
The Danish Navy decided to hit us. Oh, good. We captured three boats. Fantastic. All right, good. You guys finally landed. Uh, why don't you guys go dock up and get some repairs for a hot minute? Because <laughs> that hurt. Oh, good. We also occupied this. Very nice. Can you... I am also not protecting myself right now, so I'm, I am a little concerned about that. Uh, but we're prepared... Repairs. Wow, words were hard there, apparently. Uh, zone of control here is going to prevent us. I'm okay with that, because I'm good with just taking these three, these four islands in this war. Uh, because my navy will protect us and call it good. Oh, and I can go ahead and go for a little batch of raiding. Let's go ahead and detach these guys. And you guys go ahead and go raiding. You gotta go to this side first. <laughs> Apparently the uh, the tick occurred uh, just as we checked. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Being blockaded. Uh, you guys go back over there, say hi to the Danish Navy. Yeah, you guys get back in there. Uh, we already raided that, so we'll come on down over here. Raid that a little bit. 26 ducats, I like it. That, 25. We'll pop back in over there. Raid that guy. And then we're going to pop it over here. Raid that. Uh, me raiding here. Uh, it'll raid everyone but Denmark, uh, since we're at war with Denmark, which is okay. You guys go ahead and pop in over there. Get the entire navy together. Oh, I was like, where's the other six boats? I definitely had more than six, more than these boats. Uh, where's Denmark's navy? Did Denmark's navy get uh get sunk and scuttled? Don't take Abintex, why not? Bring needs a new paper controller, congratulations. Alrighty, so this war seems to have gone well. Cardinal spread institutions, congratulations. Does it makes very little difference to me. Uh, in terms of naval force limit, we are over by four boats, which is going to cost us some cash. Austria's, Austria's declaring war in Bosnia, which probably means Hungary is already under PO. It is. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, I have no way of getting that real control, but I got my ticking war goal. That's good with me. Um, everyone else would be pretty quick to fall. Holstein may, not, may no longer be a vassal either, which would be very exciting. Taxes in Gotland, sure. Uh, actually, I probably want to upgrade the center of trade a little bit more. Uh, thinking about that. Oh, well, we're getting pressed. Oh, I thought that was uh, Denmark's army there for a second. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> momentary panic. We actually have more troops than you are right now. Holstein, are you still a vassal? You are. Okay. That was a level three fort. I can't actually occupy that, which is cute. Can we cross here? No, apparently not because it's zone of control. Uh, we're going to have to build the free company real quick. Do I have any prosperity? Or uh, just the one that I just built. So I probably should have uh, alternated that a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to use my sailors at all. Give me the free company. Built there. Is that, I need you to go ahead and occupy this. Thank you. That's actually a really nice borders for you, Sweden. Congratulations on that. Kudos. We already have our spy network constructed here. Uh, we're going to take these three, call it good. Denmark's got 5,000 troops somewhere. He's still fighting us, which is good. And I want that, 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 and that. And I'm good with just that. 66% war score. Uh, we're also going to take your money for 180 ducats. Uh, I'm not going to take any of your war ups because it doesn't seem that important to me. We are running a deficit of four ducats. Okay. Holstein's got 4k. Oh, yeah, okay. You have 5k somewhere. Somewhere out in Narnia, you have... Uh, that's probably over in Norway, if I had to guess. But Sweden's independent. That's very nice to see. Uh, they're probably going to be one of our big rivals, but they are at least our, our culture, since our culture starts off as, as Swedish. We don't get our own culture, which, you know, is okay. Let's get a Diplotech, so that we can get just a little... Oh, we're not out of time. Oh, well. Just have an embrace renaissance. Is it growing in our capital? Uh, very little. Jason's province, European, European five billion province. Oh, after fifteen hundred. Yep. All right. They'll just have to wait. Take some time. We're gonna take this. I mean, it's gonna be their capital. It's gonna be the big chunk. How much? Uh, it is. Oh, it's only forty-six point nine eight. Not too bad. Uh, we'll continue to keep this guy since we got six Republican tradition. We can wait quite quite a while. There we go. Your capital has fallen. Fantastic. 
Uh, send the free company over there. Trying to build troops. I was done controls here for that fort. Okay. I mean, sure, I'll go ahead and walk over there. I don't I don't see an army anywhere. I'm also just looting everything. Uh, are you ready and willing for peace? Because this is also going to cause Denmark to, to... Or not Denmark, Norway to break free. Which I'm also... A Frequency of elections. You're the corruption reduction for max absolutism reduction. E. Maximum absolutism. Length of term. If we get more Republican tradition, I'm okay with the shorter terms. Uh, so that way we can go ahead and get... Uh, Better leaders, faster. Really, navy trade plus 0.5. That's pretty good, because that helps the trade power as well. Depth cost, don't really, don't really care about that. Culture, oh, promote culture cost, my favorite. I thought that was called the conversion. I was like, dang, that's uh, that's huge. Um, Don't really care about that. All right, so... I like the corruption reduction, but I don't think it's that great. Re-elect reduces estate influence by 10%. Uh, I don't think that makes a difference either. Uh, go for the max maps. Yeah, that's fine. We'll have them in charge longer, I guess. Uh, so that means we'll get enough Republican tradition. Arguably, that's the wrong option, but hey. You live and you learn. Hope doing things... Uh, do I want to do this? 22 ducats for extra yearly papal influence? I think so. Uh, I think that's actually well worth it. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cause it to take a couple loans, but I don't see a huge major issue with that. Can I do a naval barrage here? Just to end this war. Uh, do I want to end the war a little bit earlier? I'm okay with being in the war, actually. Although, things are expensive. I don't need this. Thinking about that. Get rid of that. We lose a substantial amount of money, except Denmark's going to pay us anyway, so it doesn't matter. Loans are going to be a plenty, but that's not an issue. I'll take all 180 ducats. Harsh life on the ocean for what? There's 164 sailors. Dude, you guys got to eat your limes. Uh, the reason for that is to prevent scurvy. Uh, it was actually a, a big joke for uh, the English Navy is that they were called limeheads. I believe it was limeheads uh, because they were always sucking on limes um, to prevent scurvy. It's actually hugely important. Are you guys also disloyal? Four and a half dot. No, give me the prestige. Are you disloyal? No, it's only 26.2. Well, we're just going to go ahead and occupy the rest of Denmark. Call it good. Uh, those are Danish separatists. I don't necessarily want to see that. There's also a navy over there. Hmm. Hmm. That is indeed a, a thing. Yeah, 64 dockets. I mean, it's better than nothing. Do I think I can go fight this navy? Because what's, what's preventing me here? More trade power. I think the dates. I have a fleet larger than Denmark, 17. I do. Oh, I, I just need to sink their navy more. Let's see. Norway has three heavies. I don't really want to fight the uh, Norwegian heavies. I think we can go ahead and make peace, and we'll just conquer the rest of them later. Uh, that's an issue, having Sweden over there, though. There we go. Goodbye. All right, go back to privateering in, let's say, the Baltic. Actually, stay in Lubeck. For all that. Oh, this is all. We haven't even looked at our, our ideas yet. We got core creation cost minus 15%. That is huge. Plus the additional 15% privateering efficiency. Don't really care too much about that. Trade efficiency plus 10%. So we're, we're very eco focused, but also like we're really good at coring stuff. So pair that with admin ideas. You got minus 40% right there. Dev cost minus 10%. I mean, that's pretty nice. Sweden warned us. Okay. Uh, I have a better Navy than you, so I'm not really concerned. Uh, ship cost reduction. Uh, kind of irrelevant. Global trade power, oh, that's pretty nice. I mean, it's definitely a net positive. Extra merchant, oh, that's not too bad. Naval force modifier, I mean, it's not bad. It's even the fact that we're all about boats. And then interest per year minus one or 0. 0.5, that's okay. I'm kind of indifferent on that one, but hey. Not too bad. We can have new rivals. Let's go for Lubeck. I would like Walgast as well as a rival. Alright, so you guys go ahead and merge. I got some Danish separatists that we're not really surprised by that by any means. Uh, but hey. So you are gonna go ahead, because we can actually get power projection. We're gonna issue embargoes. The Vonian Exile. Issue embargo. Uh just give it a 10 prestige for now. We're going to issue I don't need to be spying on Denmark anymore. We're good. 
issue embargo. I believe the Livonian orders also are rival. Yes, it is. There you go. Gives that just a little extra power projection. Uh, we're gonna end up declaring war. Yeah, dude, just I'll just take sixty monarch points. I have no problem with that. Uh, I do want to technically keep this fort. It's gonna cost us a. Actually, I can't afford it yet. Well, this hasn't been statified yet. Well, La oh, Austria is being super aggressive. They ate all. Of oh, Malachi only has two provinces. Poland already took most of it. Okay, interesting. Uh, who are you friends with? Do you have lots of friends or just a couple friends? You got lots of friends in your trade league. Okay. Uh, I would be tempted just to vassalize the Teutons, given the fact of their current state. But it's like it, an eventual Prussia. Uh, we're going to add Danish. Cannot add Danish. I don't have enough development here. Oh, there's enough development. Let's go ahead and statify it. Pay those admin points. There you go. Danish is 75% of our country. We could technically go ahead and culture flip, but I want the, uh, I want to stay Swedish. Swedish for now. All right. So we're going to get rebels pretty much regardless. Uh, it is a big stack, so I'm just going to go ahead and reduce autonomy so I can get a little bit extra out of the land. Um, they're going to spawn here because it's the highest vault province, so I'm good with that. Right, and now we need to go ahead and build up. Uh, can we afford the additional guy? Oh, yeah, we, we're making money again. For now. There you go. Let's go ahead and do that. I'd be wearing wedding. Oh, that was very quick. So you got your PU. Uh, oh, you also got Navarro. I'm so sorry. That was a waste of a relationship slot for you. Oh, well. And if I want to join the HRE, it is 130 opinion, which means that is something that we can indeed do. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. No problem. Uh, 10 ducats, which is a single loan for us, which yeah, I have no problem with that. Very nice. So we'll just have to wait, go to war with Denmark again after we're done. They looks like they stole a province from Holstein, so that's kind of cute. Uh, I was like, do I cancel one of these builds? Uh, except you don't get all your money back, unfortunately. Right, let's see. How are we doing over here? We got 5% control here. Uh, isn't only 0.63. How much are we getting in terms of, uh, 7.38. Uh, I think it's better elsewhere. Uh, gives local defensiveness since that's a permanent modifier. Uh, go to the Baltic. At least I'm pretty sure it's a permanent modifier. It stays on that province for the rest of the game, which is pretty good. Uh, I take the able influence because I'll be able to get modifiers and stuff like that. All right, so we are at 10%. So we need just a little bit extra. Uh, privateer efficiency will be good to go. We are making a full duck in a month, so we, we, we've already turned it around quite a bit. Uh, am I missing something here? I thought I was building additional troop. Evidently not. You guys are going to drill until this is about to 80% and we'll go ahead and have to stop. Uh, you're up to 15 development there. What's our issue here? We do definitely have a fleet larger. Um, Danish ship war losses in the Battle of Gotland at least 20. I have a fleet smaller than 5. We'll probably do the 5. We just got... The institution here in our in debt or in the former Danish capital, uh, which is actually probably going to be pretty good for us. Yeah, it gave us a huge chunk already. Um, Sweden loses opinion of me. Sure, I don't care what Sweden has to say. Uh, is it time for us to go raiding again? That's actually a great question. I never know. 65. Okay, still got a lightness. Back to the Baltic Sea, and we make 25. Yeah, it's much better over here. Alrighty, well. That is all the time that I have for today for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.